So small break. This is gonna be a little bonus section here. Um, my wife, uh, you know, she looked at the piece and she went, well, I wanted a bit more color for Moose's armor. So y'all are gonna get a little bonus. It's something I haven't done before. This will be the first time I've actually used these acrylic paints. Uh, this is called Acrylic Leather Paint by Angel Angelies. It's Angelies brand. Um, it's a shoe polish company, but they have these uh, leather paints that I wanted to try out. Now I did do a test piece, you know, just to make sure I understood what I'm doing and how to work with it. Uh, just kind of dyed this little strap here that I've, I've got a bunch of remnants of extra stuff. So I just wanted to test it out, see what's going on, how to use it. We did a couple of colors to see which uh, what we liked, blue, red, and green. Uh, but this, as you can see, I've got about 12 different colors in here. I can't remember how much this cost. Maybe it was like 20 or $30, so pretty good, especially you know how, how much you're probably gonna use. You know, these are fairly large for the thin amount of layers that we're gonna do. Um, so with that, we are gonna just put, basically fill in our uh, borders here with this acrylic paint. Um, I just shake it up. From what I've seen with it, I don't have to do anything crazy. I'm not having to thin it out with water or any kind of these crazy things. I'm just gonna put it in, take off any excess, excess with my brush and paint it on. It is water-based, which is nice, which means if I do any kind of mess ups, I should just be able to put a, you know, a little water on it and take it right off. So I'm just using a regular old brush and I'm gonna paint it all on. What's nice with it being, you know, an acrylic, being water-based, I can be really particular with where I put it on. Uh, as you can see, I can put it on top of stuff I've already dyed, which is nice. Um, of course, the more layers you're going to do, you can do with it, the brighter it will be. But for this, we're probably just gonna do one, maybe two coats, but we're not gonna do really, really thick coats uh, just because she didn't want it to be, you know, just like bright, bright, bright green. It was kind of a muted green. Uh, it'll probably almost look like a hunter green on top of this brown here as well as reddish brown it all makes nicely um, you kind of can think about it in terms of color theory in that with a painting you have an undercoat and then start putting your colors down on top of that and that undercoat will help unify all the colors because the eye will pick up that undercoat so it's just kind of a little thing to think about so they don't look too different from each other you know for the first time using this i'm really enjoying really enjoying it i think it's going to add a lot to the piece and it's making me think about future projects you know what what else can i use this on got some uh, things coming up down the pipeline we're gonna film uh, various belts that I'm gonna be doing and you know using these acrylic paints it's gonna be nice to maybe pick some spots on the belt to pop out with different colors this is really easy to use You know, I do have a, a art background, so this is, it's really coming in handy. 
keeping this steady hand. Uh, I, I do thin this out a little bit because I don't want to put too much on the brush at a time because I don't want to see my strokes basically. I want to make sure, you know, the thinner it is, the more we can kind of hide those strokes. If you glob it on, you're going to see that. It's like pooling basically of areas. You can kind of, maybe you can kind of see, there'll be this little streak right here. Luckily I can just kind of keep going over it, thin it out, put it all together. I'm gonna try to get as close to my tool line as possible without going over. If any of you guys do miniature war painting, this will probably be right up your alley. Uh, with these paints, you can it says you can also like basically put them in a sprayer. So you'd load up probably an air, uh, air gun. Um, what should we call it? Now I can't think of the name, but you could load up an air gun, you know, with their water, <laughs> those kinds of things. Jeez, I can't remember the name. Um, and spray it down if you need to do larger pieces. Wow, that's looking great. I should always listen to my wife. She'll agree. <laughs> Just kind of touching some places up here that I feel like didn't quite get enough of the paint on there. And what's great is I will still do the resiling, and that's going to seal in both the acrylic and the other dye. The echo flow. And what I love is just how streakless this is. This is really going on smooth. You can really work it in. And since I have so many colors at my disposal, um, especially, you know, white and black, which is important, but I can really even mix my own colors if I need to for later projects. All right, so you can see there how quickly with adding that color, we've added a you know new little aspect to the piece. Um, it's just gonna give it a little bit more life. And I think that's actually gonna be really exciting um, for the moose head portion, we're actually going to do everything green around the moose head. So this whole shoulder piece will be green. And then we're going to put this in there and just do this border green. But it'll help really pop this whole thing off and really give it kind of a, a central spot to look at and be a lot of fun. Um, but so that was just a quick look at acrylic paints. Um, again, a bonus video. Super exciting to see it all kind of come together and be really easy to work with. Um, I mean, at this point, after using it, I'm going to highly recommend it to anybody uh, I know and everybody I know that works with leather. Man, get get a pair, of the, get a bunch of this. The Angeles brand acrylic leather paint um, dries really quickly. I mean, I'm putting my finger on it. Nothing's coming off my finger. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing, nothing has come off. So we'll seal that with the resiline and it'll be fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna do everything in the acrylics and then we'll come back with a video and talk about putting in the fire, putting it on, uh,
putting on the fibings resiline and getting our sealer on there. Awesome. We'll see you then.